all you have to do is write one true sentence. Write the truest sentence that you know. Denia is the god of writing, of scholars, symbols and images. Also known as the Lord of Glyphs, the Scribe of Ogma, and the First Scribe, or to his enemies as the Prattler. He appears as an old sage with a wild white beard and a bald head, while his eyes are the most brilliant blue or deep violet. He carries implements of writing with him and is usually weighed down by armfuls of old books while his flowing robes are covered in vibrant glyphs that serve as a secret code to impart hidden meanings and which react with seemingly random magical effects when they are touched. Serving as a scribe to Ogma, the god of knowledge, Denia's life work is his search for the metatext a theoretical universal text that is found in fragments across every written work ever created, and once combined will unlock the secrets of the universe. Besides this fixation, Dnir is the historian of humanity, recording everything of note within the mortal plane, and with what few fragments of free time he has remaining, he organizes and categorizes all of the knowledge that is stored within his extensive purview. The afterlife he offers to his faithful artists and scholars is to join him in Ogma's domain, known as the House of Knowledge, located in the mythic realm known as Tirnanog, the land of youth within the Outlands, at the centre of the planar wheel. When Denier leaves his followers a gift, he likes to feign forgetfulness, pretending to have accidentally left it behind in their presence. This is usually a book, a writing implement, or some kind of magical lore, such as a new spell or instructions on how to create a living construct or some other antiquity of law. Despite his absent-mindedness and propensity to tell stories which lead off on wild tangents, as well as a habit of peppering his speech with all kinds of archaic phrases and slang from forgotten languages, Denier is nonetheless calm, collected, and quite well liked among the other gods. Though he is Ogma's scribe, the two work symbiotically as equals, with Ogma showering inspiration upon mortals and Denia recording its effects. He also works very well with Melil, the god of eloquence, and his contemporary and equal in service to Ogma. He is also popular among the gods of magic such as Mistra, Azuth, and particularly Savras. And he keeps good relations with Thoth, the Malharandi god of scribes, as well as Labalasenrath, the elven god of learning, and Dagmaran Brightmantle, the dwarven god of scholars. He is an ally of Lathander the Morning Lord, and Lyra, the goddess of joy is particularly fond of Denia and never misses an opportunity to teasingly interrupt his work. The first scribe's enemies and the only forces to cause him to raise a hand or fist in anger are those who would seek to destroy, to hide, or to distort knowledge, such as Sirik, Mask, Shah, and the various gods of blind fury, such as Mala or Talos. Denia is a lesser god of Faron, and his neutral good alignment reflects his aesthetic of a kindly grandfather, in contrast to the seriousness of his work. 
His clerics often adopt the knowledge or arcana domains, and he grants them the power to turn and to destroy undead. The favoured weapon of his faithful is the dagger, often erratically shaped in imitation of his own chosen weapon, a razor-sharp whirling glyph. The holy time for his followers to pray for spells is in the morning, but otherwise Denier is pretty lax in his expected worship. All the better to leave more time for the important scholarly work which must be done. His followers are known as Deniraths, who scour the world over for rare books that they donate to his temples, which in turn become vast depositories of books. For they believe that every new tome added becomes part of the meta-text, bringing their god's ambition closer to completion. Generally, Denier seems to oppose strict hierarchies, believing that they interfere with the creative processes, and prefers to designate duties downwards to those whose temperaments resemble his own, to solve problems, and even to answer prayers in his stead. Denirath churches appear wherever libraries overflow with books, and he ranks among the major religions in Cormia, Sembia, Silvery Moon, the Frozen North, Waterdeep, and the Western Heartlands, particularly within the city of Burdusk in the Sunset Vale, and the Great Library of Candlekeep on the Sword Coast. His notable temples include the Spirits Soaring Cathedral, high in the Snowflake Mountains between Tithia and Arm, the Library of Denia, hidden in a mountain by Waterdeep and only accessible by portals, the Gallery Majesta in Kalimport within Kalimshan, as well as the Library Fortress of Candlekeep, and a notable presence in Twilight Hall, the headquarters of the Harpers within Burdusk. In my world, the fate of Denia is unknown, for the gods no longer speak to their followers directly. But one might well find it curious that the Inquisition, being the cult of Lathanda who rediscovered divine power, they pay homage to Denia beside the Morning Lord. Likewise, the heretical cult of the Sigilic Order, who mastered wielding divine power without requiring devotion to any god. They operate with impunity from the Denirath Library in Burdusk. Likewise, one might even draw conspiratorial connections alluding to the Drow conquests of Arm and Tithia, as it situates the armies of the Underdark in a position ideal to attack Candlekeep and the Spirit Soaring Cathedral, two great repositories of Denirath lore. Regardless, Denirath's seem to act on both sides of the religious culture war of the human lands both joining the Inquisition as scribes and also providing cover for heretical cults who subvert church authority, such as the Sigilic Order or the Valdensians, who are an itinerant group of preachers who seek to translate books of, of high and exclusive knowledge into peasant plainspeak, towards the aim of universal education. All tallied, it would seem quite probable that Denia is indeed still active in the unfolding history of the realms of heterodoxy. The edicts of the Denirath faith are as follows To save and record information 
to preserve it from being lost. Punish those who deface or destroy books proportional to the value of the information lost. Spread literacy wherever you travel, so that the gifts of Denia may touch the hearts and minds of all you encounter. Fill your idle hours by copying out written, written work to propagate knowledge in pursuit of the metatext. And finally, information should be free to all and all should be able to read it so that liars cannot so easily distort the truth. <laughs>